back to my channel it's Nadine here back with another video and today we are going to be doing a silk press and I'm basically just going to be showing you guys how I got my hair nice and straight from it being big and curly okay but before we get into the video make sure that you guys subscribe leave a comment leave a like turn on those post notifications so that you can be notified every time I post a video follow me on Instagram if you haven't done so already my Instagram is at Coily Maine I always have it provided for you guys so yeah um we're about to get into the video all the details of what i use will be linked in the description box down below so if you're interested in seeing my little so press keep watching so first things first um it would be ideal that you blow dry your hair before you do a silk press however my blow dryer broke so what i ended up doing was i washed my hair and i just let my hair air dry and i ended up just brushing it out and this is the result okay as you can see it's freaking big as hell but we're gonna work with it and we're still gonna do the silk press so the flat iron that I'm going to be using today is actually brand new. I got it for Christmas. It is the Sedu Professional. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sedu. I think. And that's what it looks like. It's nice and wide. I already have it warmed up and it goes up to 410 degrees. Right now I have it on 360. I don't want to put it too high just yet. So we're going to see how it straightens my hair on 360. And then if need be we could bump up the heat but i'm really gonna try not to because this is the first time i've straightened my hair in literally over a year i haven't put heat to my hair in a really long time so we're gonna see how this turns out so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna section my hair into four parts i feel like it just makes it much easier to manage <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I sectioned my hair off, but I left this side out because this is the side that I'm going to start with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little brush here. I love these types of brushes. I feel like it makes your hair so much easier to comb out because the bristles are really flexible. I'm going to go in and I'm just going to detangle it as much as I can. So now that it's nice and smooth and easy to comb through, I'm going to go in with some heat protectant and I'm going to be using the one by Tresemme. This is the Tresemme heat tamer. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to spray some in my hair. Not too much because I don't want my hair to be saturated, but you know, just enough. I'm gonna just section it off. I'm gonna take a small piece of the hair from the bottom, just like this. I'm gonna just start off and work in really small sections. And I'm gonna take the rest and I'm just gonna twist the hair. All right, y'all, so here I'm basically just clipping away the twist that I just made just to keep any extra hair that I'm not dealing with at the moment out of the way. And I'm gonna take the strand that I separated and I'm just gonna brush it out, make sure it's nice and detangled before I flat iron it. And then I'm just gonna take my flat iron and I'm just gonna work my way from the root down. So here's a little close up of what the strand looked like after just one pass. I was pretty satisfied with it. I thought it looked really good. Um, but I do go back in and just do a couple more passes just to make sure it's looking nice and seamless, especially at the roots. I really just try to go in and try to get the roots as smooth as I can. And when you see me put the strand on my hand like that and shake it, I'm basically just cooling it off before I apply any extra heat to it. 
so i'm just gonna repeat the same process here i'm brushing it out and i'm just gonna flat iron it going from root to tip until it gets as straight as i possibly can get it um now with this section of hair you can see that it doesn't straighten as easily as the first section that i did and that's just because i used a chunkier section um it is easier to get you know silkier hair if you use smaller sections but i am impatient and i have a whole lot of hair but um this flat iron still got the job done So at this point, I was done with that section of my hair and I was just brushing it out. And this is what it was looking like. Real flowy, real fluffy, real bouncy. So as I continued to do my hair, I did notice a couple things about the flat iron that I didn't really like. And I noticed that as I continued to straighten my hair, there were times where my hair was just taking a really long time to straighten. And when I looked at the flat iron, it was shut off. It was no longer on because the power button is directly on the handle where you hold the flat iron. And as you flat iron your hair, you can accidentally shut off the flat iron, which is actually really inconvenient um so i did have to pause a couple times to check and see if the flat iron was still on um but besides that the flat iron was pretty good i didn't have any problems with it besides that so at this point my head was done for the most part as you can see i just had one strand left to go and as you can see my hair looks completely transformed like it's a huge huge difference all right you guys so we're basically done with the straightening um i like how it looks i think it looks good i think it looks fluffy my hair is really thick so it looks really nice and full but what i don't like and what i think i want to fix is the ends of my hair <coughs> open the window hold on Oof. okay y'all so <coughs> damn it's the um the heat protectant that i sprayed it's just like lingering around my room so when i breathe in it's just irritating to my throat but this is what the hair looks like as of right now but like i said what i don't really like is the ends of my hair okay my hair is in layers because um majority of the time i wear my natural hair and when i do wear my curly hair i like for it to be big and fluffy and voluminous so my hair is not the same length all around my head like you know what i mean so as you can see now that it's straightened it does not look very even and the ends don't really look full you know what i mean like you can tell it looks very uneven and i kind of want to fix it so i think i'm just gonna like fix the ends up a little bit so let me go see if i find a pair of scissors and i'll come back all right y'all so i'm back i ended up just cutting the ends of my hair with the scissors off camera because i did it in my bathroom and it was just kind of easier for me to see what i was doing and kind of have more control um i really didn't trim much i just cut enough to make it look fuller at the ends and i think it looks a lot better than it did before so yeah i'm gonna just finish everything off by just using some hairspray which is by chi and i tend to get little flyaways at the top of my head like i don't know if you guys can see it but usually i just get little hairs that just stick up whenever i straighten my hair so i'm not gonna take too much hairspray i'm just a little bit in the center and like pat it down some then i'm gonna just spray some all over the rest of my hair y'all so 
that is pretty much it for this tutorial i really hope y'all enjoyed it um make sure that you guys like comment subscribe share this video turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every time i post a video and let me know what else you guys would like to see from me um i'm definitely going to be coming out with a lot more videos very very soon and yeah so stay posted and i love you guys follow me on instagram if you haven't done so already that's basically it for this video